A lot of people are particular about the sounds and levels that they hear on their click track when they are working with music production. So I just wanted to really quickly cover the ways in which we can adjust the levels and the sounds that we're hearing for our click track. So we can activate the click track by clicking in the transport on this button here. We can alternatively press C on the QWERTY keyboard. And if I go ahead and play back, we can hear our click track. It's active here. Um, but we can click on this wrench icon and then we have some level adjustments that we can make use of here. So we can see I have my accent a bit higher than our beats. If I play back, that's going to be on beat one, the click for beat one. This is two, three, and four. Okay, and we also have an offbeat. Okay, now we have the ability to change the sound that we're hearing. So if we wanted to hear a beep for the accent, Okay, so you get the idea here. Um, I think I had that metronome too. So we can change the beat and the offbeat as well with any of these. And then we also have the ability to add our own sound. If we have a particular sound that we'd like to use, we can click on add sound. That will open up the Explorer and Windows or the Finder on the Mac and you can navigate to the sound that you'd like to use for either one of these. And then once you've made the adjustments that you uh, are happy with, you can click on the store preset and then add that as a preset. I'll press enter to accept that. And then now when I come to the load preset, we can see I have my preset here. If at any time we'd like to remove a preset that we've created, we would just right click on it and then choose delete. If we'd like to render our track, we can go ahead and click on that. We have the option to create that render for the timeline from the start to the end or between a loop range. I'll just choose the start to end because I don't have a loop set up. Click OK. Then that's going to render down. And then you can see we have our click track here. I'll deactivate the click track in the transport. And I'm not sure in what sort of situation that this would be used, but I'm sure it's there for uh, a reason. So let's highlight that and delete it out. I'll shift T to remove that track and C to turn our click track back on. And the last thing I want to mention is if I open up the mix console, I'll click here. On our main out, we have activation for the click track where we can turn it on and off. Now this is going to work separately from the global control here. If you notice, this is still active. And this is used for if you have set up multiple outs, if you have an audio interface with multiple outs and you're creating sub mixes, say for different recording artists, you have a drummer, a violinist, a singer, a bass player, and so on, and they have different cue mixes, you can activate the click track for each out discreetly. And this is gonna give you control if one particular artist doesn't want to hear the click track, but the others do. You can turn on the global click track and then come to the sub outs and activate or deactivate the click track as necessary. All right, and these are some of the settings for working with the click track in Studio One Four.